Hey guys, let's do some calculus. We have the integral of 2x times the quantity 2x plus 3 cubed dx. If you want to try this on your own, pause it because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. One option could be to multiply this out three times and then distribute the 2x, but I wanted to show you a different method, u substitution. So we can set u equal to the 2x plus 3. If we take the derivative of both sides, we'll get du equals, and the derivative of 2x plus 3 is 2, and then we have the dx. So right now we have a u substitution for the 2x plus 3 and a u substitution for the dx, but we don't have a u substitution for this 2x. But we can easily get that from here. If we just subtract 3 from both sides, we'll get u minus 3 equals 2x. Now we have 2x in terms of u, we have 2x plus 3 in terms of u, and we also have dx in terms of u. And to make things even easier, let's divide both sides by 2, so we have 1 half du is equal to dx. Let's copy down this integral and do our u substitutions. This 2x we're going to change into u minus 3, and this 2x plus 3 we're going to change into a u, and the dx we're going to change into 1 half du. This 1 half is a multiplicative constant, so we can pull it to the front of the integral. We can distribute this u cubed. u cubed times u, which is u to the fourth, and u cubed times negative 3, which is negative 3 u cubed. Now let's take the integral. We can copy down the 1 half, and then this u to the 4 is going to become u to the fifth over 5. Then we're going to subtract. The multiplicative 3 is just brought down, and then the u cubed becomes u to the fourth over 4, and then you don't want to forget plus c. We can distribute this 1 half, which gives us u to the fifth over 10 minus 3 u to the fourth over 8 plus 1 half c. And c just stands for constant, so 1 half c is the same thing as just c. Now we're still not done because we want to re-substitute the 2x plus 3 in for the u's. And that gives us this right here. That's the final answer so we can put a box around it. How exciting.